Good morning, internet friends. I am currently getting ready to go to a thrift store. Shocking, I know. So one, thank you so much again, yet again, for all of the wonderful feedback on my last video. Uh, you guys are equally obsessed with sandhill cranes and I just love that. That makes me so happy. So this week I actually made a decision to sign up for some free online classes um, through LVMH, LVMH's website. And I don't know why, but I just really wanted to talk about it because I'm kind of excited to dive into this. Um, I've been slowly but surely curating all of these uh, TikToks and reels about free online courses that you can use to kind of further your fashion education. I remember a while back, uh, Bliss Foster, who is someone that I follow on YouTube uh, that does really, really good in-depth, detailed, like deep dives into certain brands and uh, just runway shows and all that kind of stuff. And watching his videos just reminded me of some of the further education that I would get when I worked at Nordstrom. Um, I worked in the watch shop and a lot of times they would send me on trainings or whatnot for different brands. It was nice to have that like option if I wanted to further my education. And I just feel like since I've gotten out of the retail realm, I just don't have that opportunity as much. And seeing these reels just reminded me that like, no dude, we live in the age of the internet. Like whatever you want is at your fingertips. Like if you wanna learn about something, you can. And so one of the places that I wanted to start out with was LVMH. It's an umbrella company. So you have so many different brands like sprinkled within that realm. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Ghani is under LVMH or one of the like extended brands. Um, so a lot of the brands that I like covet and I really, really uh, follow what they're doing is under that label. So anyways, long story short, I signed up for their, it's, it's like an academy kind of thing or certificate. So I'm gonna dive into that this week and I'm actually really excited to go through and just see what that website has to offer. Another one that I have been meaning to dive into but I just haven't quite had the chance to like really look at the website. But Virgil Abloh, um, before he passed away, he did uh, a lot of information like just about how he rose up in his career, different ways to brand yourself, um, all the like legal ways behind it and everything. And yet again, kind of interesting, but like he would be linked back to LVMH. <laughs> Aren't you guys proud of me? I sharpened my pencil finally, finally. I haven't quite decided where I wanna go thrifting yet today. So I feel like I'm basically gonna be flipping a coin uh, in which direction I wanna go. But I am gonna head out and we are gonna get some thrifting in. Again, if you guys wanna join me on this furthering my education train, uh, let me know. Maybe we can all do this together and report back with what we find. Uh, again, I'll leave a link down below because I think this is just, I don't know, I'm just really excited about it. I think it's something that I've been thinking about for such a long time and I feel like I finally have the time to commit to it. So yeah. Okay, uh, let's get started. Let's get on the road because I need to get moving so I don't get stuck in Florida traffic. These were slightly better quality. I think I would pick these up, but they're 100% polyester, so I'm gonna pass on them, but this is totally that pinstripe, pinstripe trend that I've been going for. So good. Oh, there's more. What's this? No, polyester. Okay, before we get too far in, I want to catch you guys up to speed on everything that I've picked up. So far, I have this blouse. I just really like the collar on it. I am noticing though in some lights, it has a couple stains, so I might have to look that over, but love the collar. This is Jen's pirate booty, which I think I just recently talked about this not that long ago. Uh, I haven't found Jen's pirate booty in ages. And then right next to it was this Free People Beach little jumper. I thought that was adorable. So I'm gonna give that a try. And then last but not least, this Banana Republic slip dress. Super cute. You guys know how I feel about slip dresses. I just hit the jackpot on shorts. Wait till you guys see this. Got some Sundays from Aritzia. This is Uniqlo and it's in my size and I just love the pockets. Like the exaggeration on that, so good. 
And then the best of the best, some farm Rios. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. You guys know I'm gonna like tear the store apart hoping that I find the matching top. That was honestly such a good find because I have been searching left and right for shorts. I can't find any and I don't have any from when I lived in Vegas. So I think I have like literally two pairs of shorts. So this is, this is good. I need them. Need them year round here. What do you guys think, real or fake? I'm gonna lean towards fake. But it actually feels like decent quality, so that's why I'm holding on to it. Uh, but it has no like, it just has the brand tag in it, that's it. I mean, they have a price of $5.99, so I think they know. Because they also have dresses here for like $100, so like, they know. No luck on finding the matching top for that farm Rio, but I did find this like little lace-up vintage label, very like rugby-esque. I don't know, I'm thinking about trying this out because that's like a huge trend right now. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like there's just enough wear on it to like kind of make me think about it. But this like rugby style preppy polo everywhere right now. This location clearly gets a lot of designer because that's a so skin. I don't know, I'm probably saying it wrong, but that's a down puffer vest right there worth like 300 bucks. Got some Versace jeans. I think those are real. I think those are like vintage real. Very last place that I wanna look is obviously Home Goods. I wanna see if I can find any frames um, with good pictures in it. Preferably like, like a black and white picture. Just something that is really basic, but I don't know, it's kinda like funky looking in a weird way. I know, basic and funky, they don't go together. I feel like the way this is set up, I am like bound to have seven years bad luck because this all just seems like it's gonna break if I even move it an inch. Gosh, I wish I could think of like how to explain it. Like it just has to be like a black and white picture. That's it. Not even a picture, a drawing. I don't know, man, I'm a little bit too specific. Um, they didn't have anything anyways, but they do have this sweet 80s night table that I'm obsessed with. I'm not gonna get it, but I'm obsessed with it. Quick little update on the LVHM certification. Uh, last night I started to try and take some courses, but it turns out they only do quarterly openings and I just barely, like we're talking literally within like a week, I think, uh, they closed out their October enrollment. So I missed it. I was still able to sign up for the website, which was nice, but I missed the October um, enrollment date. So I can still access some of the training modules, but I just don't have the ability to get a certification, um, which is okay. Honestly, I don't need the certification. It's mainly meant for employees um, or anybody looking to, I guess, enter that industry. Um, I'm doing it more just because I wanna gain knowledge around it. I just got done filming a reel too, by the way. Did like a little outfit reel for this uh, for this look. Um, kind of exciting. I feel like I'm starting to dive back into my Instagram life. Uh, my Instagram is pretty much non-existent for the last, I would say, two years, but I do feel like I'm spending a little bit more time on it. I'm trying to make more content and uh, just do some like daily outfit inspo posts. So that's been kind of fun. Okay, anyways, uh, let's head out the door and get some thrifting done. Check out this coat the collar and everything. Oh my goodness, I am loving this. This whole thing looks like something straight out of like an Instagram ad. Oh, it's vintage. Definitely gonna have to try this one on. I feel like they just recently put out all their jackets. I don't remember them having this many coats the last time I was here. So one thing I have specifically been trying to find lately is a padded coat or like a quilted coat, I should say, not padded, quilted. And I just found 
this bad boy. And I'm gonna try that on and see if that's kind of the style that I'm looking for. This is more Western, but like, I don't know, this trend is everywhere right now. And I kind of like that that's kind of unique. It's not like the regular quilted pattern that I've been seeing. So I'm adding that one to the pile. And for this one, I need you guys to stay with me, okay? You gotta trust the process. But I think these pants are gonna be so freaking good. Just you wait. Check out these bad boys. I know they are kind of summertime, but like, look at the pleating detail on that. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking 80s. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's got pockets, drop waist, harem, all the things. Yes, I love it. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not crazy about the shape. I do like that it's reversible, so it's got buttons on the inside too. I don't know. I might have to think this one over. I do like the collar on it though. I wish it was like a little bit bigger. That would be perfect. Whoa. This one's it. I also love that it looks like a dress right now because I got shorts on, but this is it. Like collar, everything. Everything about this is perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this. The puff. It's so good. Okay, last place we need to go to is home decor. I need to see if I can find any of those like black and white photos that I'm talking about. I, like I want to find one just so I can say like this is exactly what I'm talking about because I feel like a crazy person trying to explain it but that's where we're headed. This is where the struggle always sets in. I want to see what this one is but there's like like a game like a balancing game here and I hate playing it. You guys are getting an Ulta Mega vlog this week because today we're going into Magic Kingdom because I haven't ridden Tron yet. So we're gonna go see if we can get in the Tron queue and check out that ride. So I'm very excited. So much content this week, so much fun stuff. Decided that today is gonna be a roller coaster themed day. We're gonna go do Big Thunder Mountain and then the mine train and then Tron. Quick 
update on Tron. I absolutely loved it. As a fan of the soundtrack, it made me love it even more. Arguably though, my mom chooses Guardians of the, or no, you said you like Tron better. I like Guardians of the Galaxy better. I think it's like a little bit more immersive, but overall the, the ride was like epic. Plus you just can't deny that soundtrack. It's just so, so good. we are back. Uh, as you can see, no, I did not get that Monet picture. I thought it would honestly be perfect right behind me. But then last minute, I think once I saw that ant, I was like, no, I'm good. I'm just going to walk away from here. Let's talk about everything that I picked up uh, because this week's haul, I don't know, man. It was pretty darn good. Okay, first and foremost, I wanna start with these Uniqlo shorts. I was so excited that I found these. Uniqlo is one of those brands that every time I would come visit Florida, I would always have to stop into the store and do like a special treat myself vacation purchase. So I was very excited. I feel like I'm finding a lot more of this brand out here. They don't have any shorts currently in their store. So I was very bummed about that, but I've already styled this up multiple different ways. Um, a little reel here on the side will show you how I elevated that in my wardrobe the other day. But yeah, love those shorts. Next up were these Farm Rio shorts. I'm actually gonna put these in the store. I'm so excited to find Farm Rio, but these just are not quite my style. Like, they just, mm, they don't belong in my wardrobe. That's just like a personal preference. I absolutely love them. They're super cute, and I just love Farm Rio in general as a brand. But yeah, not my style. So they're going in the shop. These shorts, I swear, I'm always forever surprised whenever I find out a brand is coordinated with Aritzia, if that makes sense. Like Aritzia is such a large umbrella company that whenever I see their diffusion lines, I guess, I don't know. Although Aritzia doesn't carry clothes that just say Aritzia. It's like Wilfred, uh, this one, Sunday, Sunda. They, I don't know. I don't know how they pronounce it. But yeah, I don't, it's, it just, it, it forever confuses me every single time with Aritzia. Babaton, that's another one that I'm like, okay, that's an Aritzia label. It's kind of turning into anthropology where you just have to like catalog all these brands in your brain and be like, gotta remember that one, gotta be on the lookout for that one and so on and so forth. So, but yeah, these are just super cute, like preppy, you know, little polo vibe shorts. Gotta love them. These are just like the preppiest thing I own now. And I love it. I am easily the most excited for this piece. The moment I saw this, I like spent the entire time walking around the store going, do I need it? Would I wear it? What am I gonna do with it? Would I sell it if I don't wear it? I don't know, too many questions. And I just, I ended up doing it because I was like, there's just, I can't leave this behind. Like it's too, it's just way too good. It's by the brand So Skin, which is a boutique label from all that I could find. Um, they're not a crazy good resale brand, so I don't know if I would recommend paying up for them like I did. Uh, I just personally saw this and I was like, this has to be part of my wardrobe. It just has to. Uh, but this retailed for $295, so I was okay with picking this one up. And it's just, oh man, it is such a cool piece. I still cannot get over it. Like, I feel like there's so much that I can do with this, but at the same time, it's just, it's such a good statement piece. Like even like this just by itself as an outfit, like this is a look, okay? Got my barrel crop Levi jeans. I love these. I wear these all the time. Uh, this is a thrifted monkey shirt, which monkeys carry to ASOS. And then this, the puffer vest, man, like, Normcore Gorpcore to the max, okay? For anyone curious on if I picked up that Fendi top, I did. I don't know if it was a really dumb decision, but I did it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm really bad at authenticating stuff. I know there's services out there to authenticate things, um, but I kind of have had this game plan in the back of my head to send in a bunch of items into the real real and maybe trade them up for something for myself or cash out the funds, however I decide to do it. But from everything that I could find, this actually does look kind of real. 
and it was only seven dollars so i thought i would take that risk uh and send it into the real real eventually one thing that i noticed is this particular top the real version of it had a little gold em emblem on it and this actually has a couple snag marks where the emblem would have been so that was kind of what led me to think maybe this is the real deal also not to mention i feel like just with what i have on right now it would look super cute this just, yeah. If I ever win the lottery someday, there will be signs. There will be signs that I have a lot of money. So the set of pieces that I am considering sending in, I have had this Gucci sweatshirt in my collection for years now, and I haven't worn it. Uh, it just hasn't been something that I felt comfortable wearing out. I don't know why. I think it's just a little bit too loud for me. I don't know, something about it. It's kind of funny. I love, I love designer clothing but I don't, I don't know why, but I just haven't reached the point where I felt comfortable like wearing this out in public. So yeah, this has been just like stashed away in my personal collection. And then this one is a Prada hoodie that's just missing the, the little tab or like the drawstring on it. But I mean, this alone, like <laughs> kind of just want to like take this off and make a necklace out of it. But yeah, it's got the Prada symbol on the back. One day I'm psyching myself up to become willing to part ways with these pieces and send them into the real wheel. Okay, let's talk about this bad boy. Uh, I just kind of want to get this one out of the way because it is so hot in my room right now. Uh, it's still like, I think it's like 85 degrees outside. So this is not the time nor the place for me to be showcasing this. But you guys saw it in the video already. I couldn't pass this up. Uh, this is definitely going in my shop, but the collar alone on it was just, oh, Man, like this is so good. It is so on trend already. Like I will wear puffer jackets as often as I possibly can. And then you make it like a cobalt blue tone and shh, come on now, this is so good. Next piece, I have been such a sucker lately for terry cloth clothing. I found that terry cloth shirt uh, a while back in Vegas that I was so excited about. I did end up selling it. This is Dandy Del Mar and it's new with tags, but this is such a cute little like retro looking terry cloth romper. Okay, I think I'm officially obsessed with this brand. This is so cute. I love the print on it. Like this is about as 70s inspo as they come. I've actually found a couple vintage versions of this and part of me wishes that I had kept a hold of them, but this, I mean, this is it right here. Okay, next let's test out these pants because woo, they're gonna be fun. I feel like I needed something that would match the flowiness to these. And I have this Banana Republic tank top, but I actually think untucked is the way to go because it just creates even more of like a relaxed kind of flowy vibe to it. Last piece, I found this so last minute at the very end I'm so excited to try this on, but wait till you guys see the label. Oh, classic cachet. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. You know, she's actually kind of given me a little bit of Tadashi vibes. With the tool and then just the, the bodice of it alone, very Tadashi. Okay, friends, I think that's it for this week's video. Uh, I am just going to lounge around now in my 1980s cachet vintage dream dress, if you don't mind. So uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around if you guys made it this far. As per usual, thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, I might have a couple extra for you right here and right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.